Hello, who remembers these? My grandparents had one when I was growing up in the 80s, showing my age here, and I just think they're awesome. I love an old rotary phone. I found this one at a Trash and Treasure Market. It works pretty well. It is very dirty and I need to clean it up. So these old telephones are really quite useless these days because the plugs they have on them are not something that we have anymore. So they're now just paperweights basically and they're really heavy too. That is solid metal. I think this handle is plastic so this is probably a later model more in the 80s rather than in the 60s because I think the receivers on those were all either metal or possibly bakelite. I think that this just feels like plastic, I don't think it's bakelite. <laughs> so it's a slightly more modern one but it's still completely useless. Let's see how much it weighs, I bought my scales. So 1.326 kilos, 1327 grams. They are not light. They're also worth quite a bit in the vintage market and they came in different colors. I think my grandparents had a bottle green phone and I remember I think there's also gray, this cream color, black and the most expensive one is red. The red ones are worth well over a hundred dollars whereas the cream one I think was more common as was the green and they tend to sell for about $60 to $80. I mean, it's still an insane amount. I got this one for $20. So this one I'm happy to do something with because I didn't spend too much money on it. It is so filthy. I need to clean this up first. I don't know where it's been. There's just nastiness all over it. Ew. So that's my first job is cleaning it up. There we go. Good as new. As clean as I can make it anyway. There's a few sort of damaged bits on here. I think there might have been tape or something on here and it feels just a tiny bit sticky still. So yes, I mean I could call it done now and that wouldn't be much of a video at all would it? So what I'm going to do is paint it and customize this telephone to have in my studio as a nice decorative piece. Before I do any design though there has to be some prep work and the first thing I need to do is actually go over the whole phone with some sandpaper and rough it up a bit because it's quite smooth and paint is just not going to stick onto this at all I don't think it's also got a bit of a scratch there but I shall paint over that with time I even managed to clean underneath the dial because I have no idea how to dismantle one of these but I managed to get a thin rag in there with water and it cleaned up really quickly so that's a great thing I also managed to get a q-tip in here and just clean under this little bit because it's welded together I don't know how you take them apart and there's no way I'd probably get it back together again the other thing is this cable it does come out but I think you have to you got to do something with it to get it out and that just looks way too complicated I think you have to undo this I may dismantle it over time but I think I can still paint around it and then take the cable off later anyway so I'm not too worried about that but let's get into it I'm so excited I've been dying to decorate this phone I've had it for ages I'd sand it on camera but I just really don't want to get dust all over my desk and in my studio so I'm actually going to take this outside and just quickly sand it down and when I come back we shall paint it all sanded back. I'm committed now because I've scratched off all of the gloss and it just looks terrible so I have to paint this otherwise it's just going to be very miserable. I'm leaving this part as it is so I'm going to tape over all of that central white section. I'm going to have to do a couple of layers probably of gesso underneath just to get back to a white base and get that nice grippy surface for the rest of the acrylic paint. She's all taped up and ready for her makeover. I might even paint this cable because it's ugly and I think it just all needs to get painted white.
I keep hitting the camera with my brush doing this bit, so I'm just going to paint this off camera, if you don't mind. It's not working superbly well on the cable because it's rubbery and you can see I've got it all over myself as well but I'm just going to cover it anyway. I realize now I've undone this cable that it is compromised in quite a few places so I would so not use this cable or <laughs> plug it in it's way too dangerous but I think I might just put a little bit of tape around these and then just paint over it just so that it looks pretty because that is hideous <laughs> as is this color too so it's all getting painted here she is all gessoed up not looking too bad it's a bit rough but I think it's not going to matter once I add other paint and put a layer of top coat on Ah, the cable is not working very well. I've missed a couple of patches there too. I've tried to cover it as much as I can. It's still quite sticky and I'm just going to leave that and deal with that later. I'm just going to worry about the phone for the moment. I feel like her name is Betsy. That's what I'm going to call her. So I've kind of got a pastel marshmallow feel to this one. So I'm going to mix up some colours. I'm just going to have three colours plus white I think. And I've got some little pots that I'm going to mix the paint up in so that I don't have to do it all immediately. <laughs> and I can work on it over a few days. ish I don't want it to be too light so I'm going to leave it at that but I may add some more white if it just ends up being too bright on the phone but I think I am probably going to tend towards the brighter colors anyway knowing me I've drawn a very light pattern on here I might do maybe darker colors on the handset and around this ring and then go for a more pastel color on the rest of the phone done yet there's a lot of touch-ups that need doing but I think I'm actually going to peel off this tape so I can see how much I need to retouch around this edge and probably around here as well Oh, 
I just pulled that off. I didn't realize you could take that off. Maybe I should add something here. That's a little easier to see now. And there's definitely a few places where I'm going to need to add some paint. So I will work on that. I will add something to this bit, I think, just because why not? And figure out how I'm going to stick this one back on. Oh, joy. <laughs> made such a mess here <laughs> despite my best efforts it's still really wobbly along the edges of the lines and it really needs something else so I'm going to take a real gamble here and I've got a gold paint pen I'm going to draw some outlines around each segment just to hopefully join them all together and make them look a little less messy She's almost done. I've written her name on the inside here. And the last thing I need to do with this is cover her with a clear coat. I've got some gloss varnish here to make it nice and shiny. And then I will show you the final reveal once Betsy's all dressed up. so much fun painting this phone I think she looks really pretty and I really hope I can find some more phones because I would love to build a collection of differently decorated ones so I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it and if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and click that subscribe button and I will see you all again in my next video swatch you later now if you'll excuse me I need to make a delicious telephone call I remember why we don't use these anymore. What a pain it is twirling that dial. Ah, oh, takes forever to dial a number. <laughs> See you later.